New at five Crocker case update. Three people accused of abusing, murdering and covering up the deaths of two Effingham County teens we're back in court today for a pre-trial hearing. Our Brooke Butler was in the courtroom and Brooke, tell us what happened. Riley, yet another delay. This morning, the judge issued a continuance so defense attorneys can acquire copies of certain communications that took place outside the courtroom. This is strategy because it happens in every single case. We are being accused of not doing our job of being of being deceptive and manipulative with this court and we have not been. Tensions ran high in this Effingham County courtroom Thursday after it became apparent there would be another delay in the Crocker case. They intentionally waited until the last minute to do this. They intentionally waited until the last minute to file this motion with all of these extra grounds. The defense wanted to get a hold of communications relating to grand jury selection. The attorney representing the county clerk of court said she would need more time to produce those documents. To clarify this, we are not moving for a continuance. We said we don't object to them being able to comply with our subpoena if it takes more time. Despite the back and forth, the defendants, Elwin Crocker Sr., Mark Anthony, and Kimberly Wright all remained quiet, showing no emotion. I advise from counsel to find the answer, sir. You may remember back in 2018, police found the bodies of Mary Crocker and her brother, Elwin Crocker Jr., in the backyard of their Guyton home. A teens were both 14 when they went missing two years apart, Elwin in 2016, Mary in 2018. Authorities have said the teenagers were beaten and starved and that Mary was kept in a dog kennel before her death. Police charged a total of five people with their murders. Two of those five have pleaded guilty. The three defendants in this courtroom, however, are all going to trial. And so, Brooke, when will the next hearing take place? Riley, the judge told attorneys to be prepared to return to the courtroom on January 26th and 27th. And on those dates, they'll be discussing grand jury selection as well as DNA evidence. Riley. All right, Brooke, thanks so much for that report.